I really want y'all to know women are terrible fucking people. And this is coming from a woman. Men can be friends for years. They can have fallouts. They can do whatever. They gonna come back together. Bitches will literally not talk to you, bro. Because your grandma died yesterday. You had to go to her funeral, bitch, And then her casket fell over. So y'all had to get a whole nother casket. And this bitch gonna tell you we can't be friends no more because you didn't come to her birthday for dinner. Then be feeling like they so entitled that you have to talk to them all day long i gotta check in with you text you call you see how you doing bitch be emotional support them am i you bitch, are we friends like what the fuck? and then the thing that really get me is when you don't show up or you can't show up it always be the bitch that's never there for nobody else that always got something to say about nobody not being there for her and this bitch be talking about everybody she be the worst fan out the group like girl don't nobody here shut up old girl just went in on how terrible women are particularly these young gals as you can see women must deal with their girlfriends just like dudes do what up gents welcome to tsg uncut i am your host sean c today we're going to look at some clips of smart women that have learned that their girlfriends other women are more trouble than they're worth but make sure you stick around to the end because i'm going to tie this all together about how this affects every man in the dating market and and what men should be aware of going forward. Hit that like button. And with that being said, let's get started. Hello. I hate to be the one to say it, but overly insecure women are not good friends. Everybody has insecurities, but overly insecure women, women that have to speak negatively about themselves every single day, do not possess the ability to be a good friend to you. When someone doesn't love themselves and doesn't do anything to fix whatever problem that they have within, it is going to be very difficult for them to love you. These type of women will levitate to strong, confident women, not to be more strong or confident, but to steal your personality. They will dress like you, act like you, and more importantly, they will try to take your man. The mindset is simple. I don't love myself and I don't want to do the inner work in order to love myself, so I'll become her. I'll give her extra compliments to keep her around, but really, I'm just studying who she is. It'll be an added perk if I can get the man that loves her to love me. She talked about women who aren't able to fix what's going on within themselves. A lot of women today won't admit it, but they are damaged. We know they're damaged. They are quick to blame men, but few take accountability of their choices. If any person, man or woman, isn't willing to take accountability of themselves and their situation, then how are they going to be able to lead? In the military, if anything happened within my division, I couldn't blame anybody else. It was all on me. Most people don't know what true accountability is. Additionally, some women are so phony. They go with groupthink when it comes to their girls. You could have a great relationship with your girl, but if her girls are hating on her, they can potentially potentially give your woman bad advice and mess up your relationship. Listen, you gotta watch these heifers because some of them are so toxic and so self-hating that they'll attempt to take their girl's boyfriend just to justify that they are better than her. If she can take her man, then she must be worth something in her head because secretly they are jealous of what they don't have and some can't get. And one thing I've always known and we all know about women is that when we step into the room with other women, they're sizing us up. They're looking at this. Is that your real hair? Is that a wig? Is the wig twisted? Why her feet look like that? Why her clothes look like that? All of those very toxic things, people in general are just very superficial and extremely materialistic. So I can't say I'm, I'm surprised. But what I will say is that if you know you're a genuine spirited woman, and one of the things I had to learn that regardless of how I flow through these different rooms, it doesn't mean that these women are my friends. I literally have seen women who claim to love me talk down on me based upon what they felt was better on them. You see some women today who have guy friends for validation, of course, but some do it because they know they just can't trust women. As men, if we tight, we can get through a lot of issues together. We talk, we work that thing out, but some women are just so petty. They justify their worth based upon superficial standards. They put their girls down just because they don't love themselves. But this next clip is really going to show you why some women value their relationship with guys over other women. Men and friends ships last longer because they don't give a fuck about shit that does not matter and prime example i'm gonna tell you why i stand on my statement that women are terrible people and they lie to themselves about 
that makes them happy. Prime example, a woman will like a man. She know this man ain't shit worth nothing. This man got like 20, 10, 12 kids, 50 baby mamas. But because she like him, she's gonna tell him, I can change him. I can do better. I can better myself. I can I can make him love me. I can get him another baby. He's gonna love my baby way better than more than he loves his other kids. Knowing this bitch knows she delusional and she lying to herself because she wants the shit to sound good because she don't want to feel guilty about doing some shit that she knows not good for her in the first place. That same analogy goes back to friendships. Bitches will be friends with bitches based off the benefits that they can get from them being their friends. And they don't be judging their friends based off them being their friends. They judge them off of the things that they can get from them. This woman was answering a comment from someone that said men can maintain their relationships because they don't hold each other accountable. It was other men, older men, mentors that taught me how to be accountable. Don't get me wrong. The women in my life did the best job that they could do. But it was older, wiser men who forged me into the man that I am today. And I have to say, when it comes to my closest friends that are guys, we most certainly uplift each other, but we also hold each other accountable. Now let's look at women instead. They'll play games. They'll use manipulation to get what they want. They'll try and change a man. They'll use his kids against them. Women don't like feeling bad for the things that they do and the decisions that they make. Wait, 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 wait. That sounds like a lack of accountability to me. Now, one thing that stood out to me is she talked about how women will make their relationship with women about what they can get from them. It makes total sense why modern women look at relationships with men as transactional. If they don't genuinely care about their closest friends, what makes you think they give a damn about you? Women don't know how to differentiate their their relationships. They don't know how to have regular platonic ass relationships because they always involve their emotions into everything. You can literally just say, answer the phone and the bitch would be like, oh, she acting funny today, she got an attitude. Bitch, I just had a bad day yesterday, I'm depressed. I can rent high, gas high as fuck. My son need diapers, like what the fuck? Like, wh what do you mean? And it's literally like, we don't get a break from friendship because a bitch always have a problem with something. It's like, you literally cannot make it. It's always like, I'm a terrible friend or I need to show up for this or you need me for this. Women are needy as fuck and I'm just not the girl that can sit up there and be friends with a bitch that constantly needs me because I need to be there for myself. I just don't like the fact that women don't stand on what the fuck they say. It's kind of like, even if they don't feel what that person feel because everybody else going with it, that bitch gonna go with it too. Like all the it combines to women being terrible people. I don't give a fuck. Women are very needy. They require a lot of time from a man. And if you are a man that have things that you need to get done or that you need to be doing, worrying about a woman is the last thing that you should be doing. If you are a man without a woman and you are not working on becoming an absolute beast in your life, you wasting time. Having a woman in your life can give your life a sense of value. But as men, we got to go out and we got to go slay the dragon. We have to go and build our own value. Women value men that other women value.